It's my 34 week bump date and we are getting so close. This week they say the baby is the size of a pineapple. Pineapples are pokey and so is he. Sounds about right. There's that bump. Ouch. I'm 34 weeks pregnant and I have a few things that I'm excited about and a few things that I'm not so excited about. Let's get started. Okay, we're filming. Balance, balance. Hey guys, and welcome to my 34 week bump day. I'm so excited that I am actually able to film this video right now because um, I really have just been feeling so crappy all week. I was like, I'm not doing my bump day. And then here I am and I'm doing it. It might be a tad late, but I'm happy that I'm doing it. And I almost wasn't able to do it because I'm missing a piece to put my camera on top of my tripod safely. But I was able to balance the camera on top of the tripod and it seems kind of safe. So we're gonna go for it and hopefully, you know, halfway through this video you don't start feeling it like or seeing my camera fall and then like crash to the floor. So like I said, I'm 34 weeks. The baby is the size of a pineapple, which is huge. I mean, this baby is huge. He feels huge. Um, when we saw him in his ultrasound, he looked huge. He just got these big old chubby cheeks. And so I'm like, am I gonna have a huge baby? I don't think he's gonna be that big. But um, they did measure him and he was like pretty close to five pounds, which that's getting close to like a birth weight type of <laughs> type of baby. So um, I'm getting excited and um, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's just, it's crazy how fast they grow. They really do grow fast and not only do they grow fast in your belly, but they grow fast even when they come out of your belly. So I'm really gonna try not to complain too much in this video because if I wanted to, I could probably go on and on and on about all my aches and pains because I have a lot of them right now. I'm just at that point where my whole body is just like feeling stretched to the very thinnest. My skin feels like it's to the point where it could literally rip in half if it were to go any further. <laughs> um, and then, you know, you start thinking about how there's so many more weeks still left and that means my belly is going to get bigger and it starts getting depressing. And so my aches and pains are just really, really intense right now. I've got really, really bad back pain, really bad stomach like like pain just because it's so tight. I'd say I have some pretty bad heartburn. The other night it was so bad that it actually made me vomit very much and it was really intense and it was not fun at all. So this is definitely the part of pregnancy where I start getting a little bit sad and then it starts bringing on like emotions and you know, I think my hormones are also getting a little bit crazy as I get close to the end and so everything is just getting really intense and I'm trying to just stay focused on day-to-day -day tasks so that I don't completely freak out because I'm in so much pain or whatever. Um, I am trying to do some things to help minimize my pain such as chiropractor. I'm officially seeing a chiropractor and he's been really doing some work on adjusting my hip and my pelvic bone because those are actually where a lot of my pain is as well and those are actually like not aligned correctly and so he's you know helping fix it and he's also going to be helping you know make sure that baby gets into position for birth which is really exciting I feel like I'm you know kind of preparing so that he can get all comfortable and engage in my pelvic bone properly and so I didn't get to see a chiropractor with Ollie and so I'm really excited that this time around I'm doing that and hopefully it will make more room and make maybe the birthing process a tad easier. I've also been doing massages somewhat regularly. I've been going once a month for like a few months now and I feel like they do help although I would say like a few hours, maybe like the next day, I'm definitely just back in pain. But it just feels so nice. Like I definitely think if you can, it's so worth it. So something I actually did last week is we went in for a kidney ultrasound for this little guy. We checked them at his ultrasound or his anatomy scan and they found that his kidneys were just a tad dilated more than usual. And so they wanted me to come back around my 32 week mark, 33 work week mark and um, check his kidneys once again just to see if they fixed itself or if it's still something that causes concern. Um, and so I, I was kind of expecting that they would fix themselves. I've just been told by so many mommies that a lot of boy babies usually have just a little bit more fluid and they tend to, you know, reverse itself pretty quickly. But 
Um, that is not what I was told. They told me one of his kidneys are fine and they were under and that it seems to have reversed itself, but the other one still was slightly dilated. I think she said that it's supposed to be about a seven and it was like a nine. They said it does, you know, it is something that they're gonna follow up on as soon as he's born to see if maybe by then it's reversed itself, but if it hasn't by then, he may have to go on antibiotics because this could mean that it could cause some infection in his kidneys which could be serious. So um, I really am just hoping and praying that it does reverse itself by the time he is born because obviously it will mean more ultrasounds and stuff like that. So I really, really hope that everything is fixed up and cleared up as far as his kidneys. And I feel like they will be, but you know, you never know and it's definitely good that we caught it so that we can keep an eye on it. So something different I wanted to do in this bump date was I want to talk about three things I'm looking forward to when having a newborn and three things I might be a little bit nervous about. Okay, sorry about that. If it looks a little bit different, it's because I had to stop and my memory card was full and find a new memory card. So back to where I was at. Okay, so the first thing that I am honestly really looking forward to is just seeing Ollie and Finn together as brothers. Um, especially when they first meet, I want to see Ollie's reaction. I'm sure it won't be like a huge reaction or anything, but I think he'll immediately be like, baby, and you know, give him a kiss and want to touch him. And I think it's going to be so adorable. And I just, I can't wait as their bond grows and their relationship grows as he comes home and is with us all the time. I'm just excited to see Ollie's, you know, mind expand and learn that there's a new human in this family that is here forever. And it's just, I don't know, it's really amazing and it's really special and I'm really excited for that. Number two thing that I'm looking forward to is nursing. I absolutely loved nursing Ollie. I just found it to be one of the most bonding and amazing experiences that I've ever had in my life. And I really didn't have a lot of tough times with Ollie. We did go through some ups and downs, but I feel like Ollie was a great nurser. I seem to do really well with nursing. So as long as this baby is, you know, a good nurser as well, we might be going on the same track as me and Ollie, and that'd be awesome. I mean, there are some things that I would like to see different than with Ollie, you know, such as longer nursing times. Um, Ollie was always like a really efficient, quick, fast eater. He wasn't like super into like taking a long time. So with this one, I'm really hoping that maybe he um, shows that he's eating a lot longer, but I'm still looking forward to it and it's I, that's probably really just something I'm really excited about. All right, the third thing I'm looking forward to is my calm nights. Now this might be something that I end up saying, there are no calm nights. That was a ridiculous thing for me to think. But with Ollie, the nighttime was just such a peaceful an amazing time. You know, we gave him a bath and we just relaxed and cuddled and you know, he slept next to us at night and we nursed and it was just so peaceful. When I look back at like my entire life, I think back to when Ollie was a newborn and that has gotta be the most peaceful time in my life. Of course, we were living with my parents and um, everything was just so nice. Like we were just so happy. Me and Brian were just in baby bliss and we were just loving our new little family and it was amazing. And so I'm really looking forward to something like that. You know, of course it will consist of putting Ollie to bed and then it will be, you know, just me, Brian and the baby. And I'm really just, I hope that it goes what I'm thinking. Um, of course it could be crazy and who knows, this baby could be super colicky and crying and screaming and it could be not at all what I'm expecting. But um, I don't know, those calm nights were just something that I hope that maybe we can get back. All right, so three things I'm a little bit nervous about. Uh, number one is the unknown of our schedule. Um, I was actually just talking to a mommy the other day and she was saying, with my first, I knew that my life was going to change 100%. And I knew that everything was gonna be different and so I was totally prepared you know, before that first one came, that life was gonna be totally changed. I was gonna be up all night and not sleeping and it was just gonna be crazy. Um, but then with my second, she was like, I just assumed that, you know, it would be a lot like this first, but of course it's different. It's actually an even, your life changes 100% again. Um, and it's, it's not just like, oh, I'm just adding another kid. It changes completely. So if you're not prepared for that 100% change, then you might not be, you may not know what just hit you as soon as you walk into the home with a second child. 
So I guess right now, um, I feel like we have such a rhythm and our schedule is just so nice. You know, Ollie wakes up and he plays and then we go down for a nap and we do all these things. But I have no idea what life is going to be like when we have a, another child in this house. It's so unknown. I just feel like it could be crazy. Like, I really don't know what to expect. Um, so that unknown factor definitely scares me and makes me a little bit nervous. All right, the second thing that I'm really nervous about and it's been something that I've probably stressed about since the day I found out I was pregnant and that was somehow finding a way to share my time and energy with both Ollie and Finn. Um, I just, I, my whole day consists of Oliver and, you know, just consuming my life with him and I just, I enjoy it. I really truly enjoy being a mommy to him. We wake up and we do breakfast and we take a nap and I put him down for his naps and then we read books and we play and I put him down for bed and it's just so easy. I just don't know how it's gonna work as far as sharing now that time and making sure that Ollie feels like he's getting enough time and making sure Ollie doesn't feel neglected or that, you know, he's being replaced or anything and so, and not to mention energy. I mean, my, the truth is, is that I am going to be spending more time with Finn, especially in the beginning. He's going to need me 100%. And so my energy is going to go a lot towards Finn and not so much towards Ollie. And that stresses me out because I, I don't even necessarily want that. But that's how it's going to be. And so, um, I don't know. I'm. It's just a lot of unknown, like I said. And I don't know what to expect as far as sharing my time and energy. All right, and last but not least, the one thing I'm also nervous about is remembering all the choices I made with Ollie and what I want to do with or do differently with Finn. Because with Ollie, I made very specific choices as far as, you know, how I was going to nurse or um, how I was going to do co-sleeping and how I was going to, um, you know, transition to food and all these different things. And I I literally forget everything. I don't really, I don't really like remember things very well. And so I tend to like just push things out as I don't need them. But I'm trying to remember like, okay, so what did I do with Ollie and what did I like and what did I want to do differently with the next one? I can't remember. So I'm kind of just hoping that all those memories come back to me and I'm like, oh yes, okay, I did this with Ollie, but I don't want to do that this time. I want to do it this way or however. Um, <laughs> so I guess I'm just, I'm hoping that all those memories come back because I can't remember anything. All right, so this ends my three things that I'm excited and nervous about. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was definitely something that I wanted to do in my bump date. Um, I'm also really looking Looking forward to my baby sprinkle. My mom and my friend and my aunt have all been getting together and they've been planning this baby sprinkle for me. Um, it's basically like a baby shower but it's a little bit more low-key because um, this is my second child and I was kind of like I don't really need a baby shower you guys don't need to throw me one but they were like let's do a sprinkle then um, and so I'm really excited about it. Um, it was, I feel like it's really important to celebrate every baby as they come because the first one gets a huge celebration why shouldn't the second one? So I am really excited about it and I think it's gonna be super cute and it's totally kind of like a surprise. I'm completely staying out of the planning process, whereas with Ollie, I wanted to be super involved. I wanted it to be this way. I wanted it to be girls only. I wanted it to be like this and that. Um, and this time I'm like, you guys go for it. Have fun and I'm excited to just show up and see how it turns out. So I'm really, I feel so blessed and thankful that people care about me so much that they actually want to do something like that. All right, last but not least, I wanted to let you guys know that the nursery is almost done. I'm so excited. Um, I'm hoping to have it done by next week or so. Um, we will see because there might be a couple more things that I need to order that have to be that have to actually come in. But if I could at least show you some of it, I'm hoping to at least get like the main one done, and then I'll show you guys, you know, other things that I end up, you know, changing and doing differently as you know we get closer to birth. But um, I'm really excited that it's almost done. I love going in there right now because it's kind of just set up at this point and I love to just sit in his rocking chair and just imagine like I'm going to be in here really soon a lot with a baby and I'm going to be nursing in here and um, it's really fun. So um, I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I'm going to go ahead and show you my bump now. All right, here's the bump from the front with the shirt down. It's definitely popping. I feel like it looks like I just swallowed a huge basketball. I think I already said that last week. It just looks like a huge balloon. I don't know. It's crazy. I am wearing sweats today because I've been doing a lot of housework. 
So here it is. Surprisingly, still no stretch marks. I asked Brian like every day, I'm like, is there stretch marks there? Cause I just felt it rip in half. <laughs> but um, no stretch marks yet, so that's exciting. Whew. There it is. All right, that is it for this bump day. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Wanted to envision that for his room. We have new shelves for all these books. We wanted to display these in a way that didn't take up a lot of space in the room, and also where you could see them. So we went with these shelves. Uh, the brand is Up Above. And they're these really cool bookshelves. You can see all the covers of his books. Uh, we can reach them easily. He can't get to them, because as you can see, when he gets to his books, he likes to chew them up, and that's a no-no. <laughs>